Hey, it's Nintendo Sony Freak to one love Nerd Game Man and Wolverine. Guys, and rest on the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Bishu, Brighton, Odyssey, Rumble, Parlor, and Telegram, and any social media platforms. I have always you guys can think of. Probably the fastest way I ever did this. I got to get this over with really, really quickly because once again, I are all the errands I got to do. And then I told you this week or next week, there's going to be a lot of like power outages because the freaking thing that I have, Coxie or Coxie. It's not like the other one is bad. It's like Warner, more just Time Media or any of that. Because there's a lot of people on the East Coast have that. I'm on the West Coast. So I got either one of the three of the DirecTV, Dish Network, or in Cox Digital Cable or whatever. Or, or Digital High Speed Internet. So it's one of those three. They're going to be doing outages for the next two weeks. So if you see them randomly just pop up, <laughs> you'll know why. So Baden of the Three, this came out the other day, but I really wanted to talk about it. <laughs> and then this new one, Astral Chain. The same developers that made Astral Chain, they're, they're announcing new projects. Fortunately, the game I never got to play. I wish I did. It's a multiplayer hack and slash. You know I love the crap out of my hack and slash action player platform, multi-level platform um, games. So unfortunately, I never got a chance to play it like two years ago when it came out. But anyways, um, this comes from um, MD. I'm probably going to butcher this name real bad. Amrir. Amagr, Amagr Hagnudin, Amag Hagnudin, yeah, Armad Hagnudin. So this is Bayonetta 3 feature, might feature the, may, may not feature the original voice actor, which sucks. That's the case, that's a bitch. I was going to read it on here, it's Russian, German, European website, but I had to give it time to translate and all that shit, and that would have took too long. So it says, um, <laughs> Bayonetta 3 fans. Might not feature the original actors, Helena Taylor. This is going to be a bitch because I really, really love the crap out of her voices. She's done thousands of other anime manga series out there, in English dubs, so it sucks that she's not going to be in this thing, unfortunately. If it happens, I hope not, but let's move on. Made Another 3 franchise was launched back in 2009 over the years and has established this name for its <laughs> more than anything. For itself, a hack and slash game rivaling right the likes of the DMC series, Devil May Cry. The third installment of the franchise, Made Another Three, is announced back in 2007. They're eagerly fans awaiting their game's releases. However, we haven't seen anything yet in the initial announcement. Many expecting the game will be revealed during E3 this year. No, this is old now. <laughs> E3 this year? What do you mean? This is three years ago. This past year, because that shit's all over with, man. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. Yeah, many expecting one to be a real E3 games after the director stated the update will be shared in the game. Fortunately, it did not. There you go. And another three didn't feature this feature as well. It's really, really sad. They didn't have the premiere presence that they wanted. On the tweet there, you guys can read it if it ever loads up. I know it loaded up before. It's just her giving her condolences or may, may not be in the next part three, which sucks. <laughs> Unless move on, yeah. As fans are waiting on more information about the the three, the voice actor franchises... The franchise's voice actor, never mind, I don't know why I said that backwards, I swear to God I'm not dyslexic, has dropped some of the hints, may be disappointed for the fan base, or replying to the fan bases, the praise your work as her voice actor, Helena Taylor, hints that she may not be part of the series in the future, no, dude, ugh, that's gonna hurt me in the feels badly, it really is, that was a real quick article here, so it says, the fans say they cannot imagine the series without her voices, which is really, really often sad, but true. Their voices, to which Helena replies that, quote, we might, we might have to. Well, you might have to. You may have to. Another fan asked clarification of statements was, I'm not liberty to say, dang, because they got a bunch of NDA contracts. They had to sign them, man. All these other, like, TOS terms of services, they got to obey by them. That sucks ass. You want to get their millions of dollars. That's how you got to do it. But let's move on. Considering Helena has not been part of the series since the inception, the community will indeed expect him to play some role in Bayonetta 3. Platinum Games has also emphasized an interview and will really show the video games to fans, unfortunately. But there's been no official information. However, Lena's presence for the franchise, consider how four role, four loan responses are. Is they're very decrypted, very, very decrypted, very vague the way she did her response. So that's what my overall thoughts, reasons, and opinions is not. She may or may not be part of the series. Oh, I really want Helena to be part of the series, man. Shout out to this chick, man. She has so many good voice acting thing on there. I don't think she's an SJW, like, cancel culture piece of crap either. Like, a lot of the ones for the English Jeff for Dragon Ball Z and the English Jeff thing for Pokemon was either. Back in the day. But yeah. <laughs> With that being said, let's move on. I haven't read for Nintendo Soup in, like, so many freaking decades. And, and the internet, it feels like decades. But in real life, it's only been, I think, a year. 
the last time I even read anything for Nintendo Super. It's been a say <laughs> the nicest way to say it, it's a hot second. The last time I read anything. Actual change director working a new announced project. I can't wait for this thing to come out with part if this is gonna be a sequel, that'd be cool. Unless it's gonna be completely different, like separate series to itself. Then it is what it is. I'm just saying. <laughs> Because um, if it's not, that's going to be a you-know-what. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's move on with this. Yeah, this comes from Galamos. Yeah, so this, I know it says six seconds ago, but this is way older than that. It's like eight, nine hours early, later. At the time you guys watch, it won't even matter anymore. <laughs> this will be like dust in the wind on YouTube, but whatever. So, um, so yeah, let's get into it. So, based on the Platinum Games Astral Chains, includes Switch owner, new kindly RPG settings, and dystopian future. And put some actual train music in the background so that way you can hear it better because <laughs> that goes way, way more badass than this. I don't know why it's called Galamos or Galamos, however you want to pronounce it. So, yeah, it also goes on to say, Well, it looks like it looks like a really big, very, very anime, extra anime rock and roll shit there. J Pod, J Rock. So, it says, oh, Yeah, well, it looks like the director behind the scenes is now building something new. That's pretty badass. This is a game, hopefully, one day I still get to play. I never got the chance to play it two years ago. One of these days, i got to pick up for the Switch. In a recent interview with VGC, Platinum Games head producer, Atsuchi Anibasha, Anibasha shared that Astral Chain director Takashi Taruka is now working on a new kind of project. However, he's kept his lips sealed. And uh, Ibian-san, hopefully I'm saying it right, is our last chance that you call Astral Chain's Takanashi Taruka, Taruka, if I'm saying it right, is your best director and suggested that you could pick up and choose his next project. He has started working on it yet. We got this yet. And as I guess as Mr. Anaba said, we got to keep this superstar busy, he laughs. We're working on something, but we can't say what it is. We might see what it's announced soon. I really hope to got it soon, because that shit looks so fucking good, man. If it was Astral Chain Part 2, that'd be cool. If there's something else even better than that, hopefully it's as good as like Beautiful Joe, better than Ray and other ones. It's like one of those type of games. And it also goes on to say, we'll just have to wait and learn about the next Suzak Superstar Director Ka Takanashi Tura, Takakura, however you say it, is working on. We'll be back more to hear more in the future. Yeah, overall thoughts in the It was a little bit of a shorter, tinier article. But my God, dude, come on, man. I really, really, really wish this shit would have been just as good as the other stuff. I really wish they would have cut a little bit more, unless they're going to do a Tokyo Game Show this year. October 15th or 25th, 30th, or November, whenever they do Tokyo Game Show. Maybe they'll have a small, tiny hint teaser of what's going to be. Maybe a sequel for Astral Chain or maybe extra DLC content. Who the hell knows? Honestly, it's up in the air for me. It really is. All right, so the last one got a word. I'm probably going to have to read this one on my phone because this one freezes up a lot because of all the stupid fucking little ads. They're always in here and the little freaking videos that they always play, unfortunately. Yeah. This happened like almost four days ago. It's right after Sony PlayStation. I didn't even know this was a thing on Twitter. I barely spent time on there, but it came from Jared Stewart three days ago. Former, so this is not former, but fans come to God of War's defense after it's criticized are using the same sample animation. They recycle the animation over and over. That's kind of stupid. I don't care about recycling animation school. Unless you were in old school 2010s, early 2015s, like, um, PC Master Race, and you probably get pissed off by that. But if you were a gamer console like I was, a console gamer like most of my life was before I was in the PC gaming, I wouldn't have given a crap about it, rats of tail butt about it, but let's move on. God is worse for certain than that. I'm not going to read that part. I'm going to read the second, third, or fourth part so I can get this done quicker because these things are usually fun. Oh, this guy on Twitter says, Gandalf Gaming has voiced their vexation and the animation is carried over from God of War's Ragnar series practically in the animation. Kratos pulls a small boat into the body of water and he and our Artilus. Artilus? Our Artilus? I think that's his little son that he, he hangs out with all the time. His, his demigod son. But let's move on. As a result, Gandalf Gaming refers the upcoming sequel as, quote, a clone due to the animation similarities. Reception to this odd criticism and backlash Gandalf Games. Opinionated claims. Many fans come to have come to defense. There it is. God of War Ragnar Santa Monica Studios defense. Because to me, that shit's no big deal. It's kick ass. It's awesome. Look, as long as the gameplay is good, it's all I care about. Chronological Kyle, for example, says, "What? Why fix it when it's broke?" Indeed, God of War animations for the father and son to enter in a boat and to traverse traverse the lake of the nine scenes appropriate to keep the same, and most likely 
seems with the room for developers that implemented changes where it may be critical and fundamental. Likewise, and the cider Jeff Grubb, I've heard that name in a while, Jeff Grubb, and shared his thoughts on a criticism stating developers, quote, efficiently reuse content as of a way to circumvent, circumventing needless expenses, unquote. And it also goes to say Jeff Grubb also suggests that if players enjoyed the previous God of War, they're going to have a be okay getting more of a game that you like, unquote. This points out that if the players think that the fans of the God of War Ragnarok series predecessors may not truly be disheartening to see more games, but some gamers, such as Gandalf Gaming, were perhaps expecting new animations from a general... So yeah, he's probably a PC Master Race fucking PC gamer more than a console game. In my own personal humble opinion. So anyways. Also goes on to say, by the previous God of War titles. Here's the last part here. Gene Park says, comes out of the boat. Games both defense to agree the refusal of animation, quintessential AAA games, though they do not wish to see the boat transversal, would have been shelved in the sequel. Meanwhile, Jason Trier admits that... Ah, I heard about the dude Shriner. <laughs> and that dude was a piece of shit for a long time. That's right, because he works for Wall Street Journal now, too, in New York Times. Da -da 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 -da. He enjoys the transversal and allows it for interesting moments of conversation. A memer. Mamar? Memar? How do you say that? Others may have a valid point there of her getting out the boat. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's funny, though. Now, there are so many other ways to to enter a boat and unenter a boat. Okay, I didn't think about that. <laughs> it is what it is. And there's actually, I think, a little bit more. Yeah, there is a little bit more. Hold on. Unfortunately, not every game was able to please fans, especially in the previous installments. I've reached the highest standard. However, it appears, though, Majority of fans respect the developer's decision to reuse animations or assets based on the knowledge about the game's design and what should be prioritized in creating a new massively popular game of the God of War series. God of War Ragnarok is scheduled to release 2022 PS4, PS5. It's probably going to be 2023. Hopefully it is 2022. They've been working on this game since, what, 2017, 2018? Four and a half, five years. Usually it's about three years it takes for them to make a game. This one's almost five years old, bro. We've been hearing about this news for so many years. I've been wanting to get this God of War. I've been a hardcore God of War fan since, like, literally the PS2 era. Way back in middle school, high school. I'm no last man. I get it, but... Mm, God, I want to play the crap out of this game. The Norse mythology looks sick. All the freaking monsters and demons and zombies and dragons and motherfuckers you gotta fight. And all the freaking crazy-ass, like, trolls you gotta fight. It looks so fucking good, man. And the sea serpents. The environment's beautiful. I'm not even a paid chill to say any of this shit. It just looks beautiful overworld expansion. Even if there's one or two glitches, I'm okay with it. That's all I gotta say for now. I'm out of here. Links to description box down below. Guitar tone outside, and that's it. And I wanna play the crap of this. If there is a sequel to Astro Chain Team, like I said, Tokyo Game Show next month or the month after, maybe they'll have a small little hint or reveal at the Tokyo Game Show that might have it. I don't know. Is it gonna be like a new upcoming secret game that they maybe show on Tokyo Game Show? I don't know. This dude, <laughs> Taruda, Tarako, whatever his name is. Please make another sequel with us. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and figures, as always. Talk is neat. I'll see you when I see you guys today. Have a night wherever you never saw there. Stay tuned with your conscious with the video. You mentioned news, anime, manga news, or news, for Tracy drama news, and um, celebrity online news once in a while, reaction videos. And that's it. Peace out, my sauerkraut. Ladies and gentlemen, see you on the flip side. Stay safe, stay awesome, and um, <laughs> FNWO, um, One World Order Government, and all the evil for me, some motherfuckers. Peace. I'm out of here. Laters. Stay safe, stay awesome. Catch you beautiful, awesome people on the side. Later.